I'm proud to tell you that I was born at our hospital in Harlingen. Um, also proud to tell you all my sister was born at our hospital in Brownsville. Valley Baptist has two hospitals, one in Harlingen and one in Brownsville. It does give you a sense of, of commitment to the community uh, from your very roots. My parents uh, inspire me. They continue to inspire me. My dad will be 83 in, eight, in April. My mom will be 80 in April. And I was raised in that environment, uh, not only with my parents, but my tío Filimón and my tía Blanca. My tío Filimón was a former federal district judge here in, in the area. My aunt was a mayor here in Brownsville. You know, those were the type of folks that, that I was surrounded by growing up. Uh, and they all instilled in us that desire and the obligation to give back to the community. But more importantly, they inspired us by their actions to do so. I graduated from high school in 1981. Uh, I, I can look back academically and I think I was blessed to have some teachers that, that really, uh, they, uh, they challenged us, uh, they helped us form commitments to education, uh, they certainly tried to help us uh, form good study and work habits knowing that in fact once we moved on to college those kind of attributes or, or, or uh, examples were going to be incredibly important in our ability to succeed moving forward. I actually attended my first two years undergrad at Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches. I went there with, a, with the intention of, of getting some type of a wildlife management type of degree. Uh, it, it didn't take very long for me to, to know that, in fact, that's not the area I wanted to go in. As a matter of fact, one of my first classes was on botany, and we started studying the life cycle of the acorn. And probably about the second weekend of the class studying the life cycle of the acorn, I determined right then and there, that's not where I wanted to go, certainly not the direction. And so I backed off and just got my basics done, transferred to the University of Texas in Austin in 1983, and ended up getting a Bachelor of Arts degree uh, graduating in 1985. Uh, from there, I went right into law school at the University of Texas and graduated with my law degree in 1988, came back to Harlingen and, uh, and joined uh, my father's practice. As I mentioned, he had a successful practice for many, many years and enjoyed that experience very much and was in private practice 15 years. Valley Baptist had never had the position of, of general counsel until September of 2003. And when they opened up that position, they went out for applications and I applied and interviewed, uh, noting that in fact, I didn't have corporate background and I literally didn't have any healthcare background at all. And, uh, but I think the mindset at that particular time, you know, what we're looking for somebody who's more, a little bit more well-rounded in, in their experiences, certainly somebody involved in the community. And so I was offered the opportunity and I maintained that position for eight years. In March of last year, I was given the opportunity to transition into the role of CEO president. So I'm coming up on my one year anniversary in regards to my new role. Uh, and, and it's absolutely a completely different world for me. I'm incredibly excited every day that I wake up to have this opportunity. We're developing a team uh, and our primary goal is to offer the highest quality of care in the safest environment possible while mustering the, the most compassion and passion we can to our patients and their families. I think there's triumphant moments every day when we're able to do that. Uh, but I also don't want us to lose, ever lose sight of the fact that when we can't do that, it's also a triumphant moment to know that we've comforted somebody in those moments of their life where they need it the most. Two things that motivate Manny beyond belief, education and healthcare. He clearly understands the importance of human capital, of giving every child an opportunity to succeed and how education plays a vital role in that. No different than healthcare. When you get him talking about healthcare, you completely immediately know why he's the CEO of Valley Baptist. Manny's one of those people that everybody just loves. Uh, nice guy, uh, he's full of integrity and honesty and sincerity and hardworking. He's thorough, he doesn't seem to get flustered. That's, that's the thing that I, I think admire most is no matter what the issue is or what type of uh, hard topic we're discussing, he seems to see a silver lining and keep his head and work towards resolving that issue. And it always works out. Uh, and that's an incredible quality uh, in a leader. I think his greatest accomplishment is his family. I mean, he's such a loving husband and a loving father, and you can see that in his kids. Anytime you see a sparkle in Manny's eyes, he's talking about his kids. He's 
wonderful father, the things he's done for his family. You know, he has a child with autism. Everybody's heard about Manny Mac and how much he loves Manny Mac. But, you know, he took that adversity and turned it into advocacy. Has been part of uh, advocating for and educating uh, the community on, on autism. I love my family more than I love life. You have the professional fulfillment with, my, with Valley Baptist and my role at Valley Baptist. But I think you, there's another fulfillment too, and that's this sense of obligation to participate. I, I think the ones I'm par probably most proud of uh, are the ones that involve children with special needs. As I mentioned, my 19-year-old son has Asperger's. It's a great learning environment in regards to learning empathy and compassion and patience uh, and unadulterated love and all of those kind of good things that bind, bind the family. Manny Mac has been an incredible uh, blessing. Now, if we could change it, I would for his sake. But for our sake, you know what, he, he it's in the, you know, I get choked up every now and then, but it really is one of those uh, one of those experiences in life for not only me, but Amy and our kids and, and my family. Um, it's incredibly motivational. Or something my dad always says, there are two things that cannot be taken away from any of us. One is our name, the other thing is our education. Develop the determination and the, the study habits and the regimen that will allow you to be prepared for college. Go to college, study hard, be dedicated to what you want to do, and then you come out and, and then immerse yourself into whatever role an opportunity you're given. What I get to do uh, on a daily basis is I get to wake up and I go to work and I help support people that help heal people. 10 years ago, 15 years ago when I was trying cases at the courthouse, this thought would never have crossed my mind, but I'm here today. Because you never know when an opportunity will arise like mine where I'm now incredibly fulfilled on the professional side.